but I want to show you the most beautiful description of what is a Lie group that I found. I leave the link for you in the description of this video. But here they state mathematicians invented a concept of a group, so the general concept of a group, not specific to a Lie group, to describe symmetry. The collection of symmetries of any object is a group, and every group is the symmetries of the same object. And I give an example that the symmetry of a group, the symmetry group of a square, so in a two-dimensional space, flat space, we have a square. And this square, if you want to bring the square back to its original uh, view, you have four rotational freedoms, you have two mirror images, and you can flip it two times over the diagonal to again result in a square. So what you have is a finite group of eight elements, and it is denoted by H4. Another simple example is a circle in a two-dimensional plane. The symmetry group exists of all rotations, all points on this circle, and all reflections, and can be identified with the orthogonal group too, the set of all two by two orthogonal matrices. Of course, amongst all groups, the Lie groups are of particular importance. And a Lie group has three structures, and this is the beauty in a Lie group for me, if you have this crossover function. You have an algebraic structure as a group. This is the pure mathematical definition of what is a Lie group, and I will show you in a second. Then we have a geometric structure, so we can imagine this as it's a geometric object as a topological manifold, and we know manifolds are everywhere. And we have a smooth structure, so you can do your analysis. And a smooth structure, you know, and a topological manifold, you can have a differentiable manifold, so you can differentiate. And if we remember, the gradient descent we have, for example, in deep learning and the simplest case where you want to find the minimum on a specific um, uh, manifold, you do this with uh, gradient descent. And of course, you have to differentiate on this manifold to be able to find the direction for the minimum. But uh, the official definition of a Lie group, but some examples, and this is nice. That the most trivial case, of course, is any finite group endowed with a discrete topology is a Lie group. But S1 and R1, endowed with the group structure and the usual topological structures, are also Lie groups. And then, of course, you have the mighty field of matrix Lie groups that you have, for example, in physics, in chemistry, if you want to describe symmetry groups in theoretical physics in high particle and in high particle physics with very high energy you have the unitary group you have the special orthogonal group you have your orthogonal group you have your general linear groups and your special linear groups and they have some beauty in theoretical physics but we or i my particular problem is i want to understand the application of lie groups calculating deep learning in graph neural networks. And Lie groups are, are, are there. They have this particular beauty in calculating GNNs, but I still do not really understand how they act, how they act on a vector space, their representation groups of them. Therefore, what this is why I do this exercise. So Lie groups. And here we are. According to Klein's Erlangen program, the essence of geometry is to study the invariance of groups acting on homogeneous spaces. And we have, for example, vector spaces and representational theory. So the essence of geometry is to study the invariance of groups. And of course, you have the Lie groups, and which describes the symmetry in many physics theory. And I already showed you if you have in a classical mechanical system, where you have the principle of the least action, you can have a beautiful mathematical deduction given the principle of the least action 
and you uh, you finally come to the equation of motions for any mechanical systems. Of course, with given relativity, for the relativity theory, you have your Lorentz group. And if you want to apply like Feynman, the quantum mechanical case, you have your Heisenberg group. I think we're familiar with this. But in deep learning, in graph neural network, Lie groups play an extraordinary role. And it is not at all trivial to understand this. To give you a very short outlook what I mean, let's look at another example. And this is more or less a practical example we need for the deep learning on graph neural networks. Now, if we activate the differentiable structure of Lie groups, we consider the set of vector fields on a Lie group G. And a vector field on G is a smooth choice of V of G in the tangent bundle of G for its G element of G, or a smooth section of the tangent bundle TG. So one can add and scale vector fields by adding or scaling in the tangent space at each point. Thus the set of vector fields on G, on our Lie group G, forms a vector space V of G. And the group acts, and this is uh, for me the important fact, the group acts on its tangent bundle by left multiplication, okay? And give my vector field, the vector field is invariant and blah, blah, blah. But you see, the Lie group, the structure of the Lie group enables us and the interconnects between the algebraic presentation, the geometric presentation, and also, the smoothness of our analysis toolbox enable us to build such construct for deep learning in graph neural networks. And I know it may, might be a little bit heavy, but oh yeah, Lie algebra. Lie algebra is a vector space G equipped with a billionaire product. Yes, we know this. We know the Jacobi identity. Here we have our Jacobi identity. It has to fulfill the Jacobi identity. And an example of the uh, Lie algebra here is our cross product in our vector space R3. R3 equipped with the cross product, this is the definition of our cross product, it is also a Lie algebra, which opens a lot of possibilities in the algebraic calculation to calculate the solution to our problem. Lie algebra, Lie group correspondent, now this is, this is too complicated. No. I think this is it for today. The Lie group definition, again, the pure algebraic mathematical definition of a Lie group as a group that is also a smooth manifold, so that's the multiplication map and the inversion map of both smoothed. This is it with Lie groups. And maybe I gave you a taste of the very special nature of Lie groups, how powerful they are if you apply them and the mathematical modeling of physical systems May it be in, I don't know, uh, fluid dynamics, material science, or particular in theoretical physics and high energy physics. If you have quantum field theory, you have Lie groups and gauge theories en masse. And maybe it's a good idea. And gauge groups are also, I think, of importance, of upcoming importance. If you focus the deep learning on graph neural network more on this vector of of a topological um, construct, let's call it this way. If you want to uh, see a graph, not just uh, in a Euclidean way, but if you apply the topological view on a graph, I think we will find there the next evolution of deep learning for graph. But this is topic of another video. I hope you enjoyed this one. It is a little bit chaotic. It is very heavy on the mathematical side. And maybe I will have to read the definitions again. Maybe have to think a little bit to really get it down. And then I hope that slowly I will understand what Lie groups mean and the importance of Lie groups as symmetry groups. And you know, whenever you have in a physical system, you have a symmetry. There is a very special parameter within this physical system that has an extraordinary beauty. This is it for today. I see you in the next video.